the idea of the innovation fund came up we said yo bingo why don't we take advantage of this because we know that it's going to create the right environment we need the great thing about this project is that we can test things and we can even fail and we're encouraged to fail yeah. normally i'm not allowed to fail this year uh, GIZ for the first time uh, joined an innovation fund which uh, gives uh, GIZ staff, development workers and integrated experts the opportunity and the space uh, to develop uh, further rough ideas that, that they've had. Uh, we had 252 submissions and six teams were chosen to be part of the Accelerator program which is the heart of the Innovation Fund. The six teams are entering a program, so-called Accelerator program, which compresses years of experience into six months. That means within the six months, the teams will accelerate their idea from a very initial start into a minimum viable product. So an IT or a digital solution that can actually be used to a certain extent. The Accelerator program to allow this process um, offers different components, which are training, which are um, coaching, which are networking, for example, with the Republica conference here in Berlin, but it also provides financial support or financial budget for the teams to take their ideas to the next step. The teams arrived here with these first ideas they had in mind. So we want to ignite citizen engagement in Africa, in South Africa especially. We want to make sure that people uh, give feedback via an app on public service delivery problems that they face on a daily basis. Uh, our idea provides practical tools to help businesses to prevent corruption and also help them to detect corruption. It was so interesting to see um, the process that they went through together with the support from the coaches and that they really had to rethink and re-analyze um, um, what they were actually looking for. The, ch the challenge that my team currently has is breaking down a very complex problem to something very concrete. So getting a complexity and making it concrete, and that's a challenge. And I would also say a lot of the ideas that the teams are focusing on um, have one very critical assumption, and if that doesn't work, then it's a make or break. So it's now about having the teams to really dig deeper and get a bigger understanding of what the actual problem is. So they went outside, they talked to people, they talked to people on the street, and that helped them to redefine the problem, to narrow down their target groups, and um, yeah, and they did very well. And then we also went out there to conduct some research on the field around there, which was good because we got useful insights that helped us to look at the aspects to maintain and the aspects to take out. We've done a couple of changes in the original idea so that we can have at the end a product that is suitable for the user. They even came up with the first uh, prototypes and now I'm so excited to experience the coming month together with them. The bootcamp is a marvelous opportunity for us because now we've been able to move several steps ahead realize without the support of the Innovation Fund because um, we wouldn't be in the right space to uh, develop such an idea. So um, yeah, of course we would like to see like um, six um, amazing and scalable ideas at the end of the year, but uh, what's also important for us is the contribution we make to the innovation culture within GIZ. What does that mean? That means trying out new methods, design methods, that means but most importantly, that means um, like failing early and starting afresh.